Hey, everybody, how's it going? It's Gaming Jack 24 7 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play I Ninja. And in the last. Wait, hold on. What are you doing? Get out of here. Anyway, in the last episode, we went through uh, the, cr the Imperial Guard and we also did a couple of the bonus missions. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on the last of the first levels. Well, as you can say, the last of the first run through of each level with the cryo chamber. So let's talk to Sensei real quick. This cryo chamber breeds all of Odor's evil ranklings. Lay the smack on the crisis buttons and terminate his bloodline. Watch out for the blue Genoku. It's a killer. Got it. So, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, welcome to the most annoying level in this game. Oh my god, I hate this level with a burning passion. So, you can see, um, like you said, uh, the Gino Goo or the Gene Goo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, don't touch that. You touch it, it's a one-hit death. Now, you can see... We got this little bar right here, and I'm already demonstrating, and it's already showing us. I wish I could skip ahead of this, but pretty much, what you have to do is you have to go to the four corners of it, the four sides, and destroy each of the little uh, yellow things. You know, sounds pretty easy, right? But after you destroy one, the goop decides to rise. So now you have to race all the way up to the top, and if you screw up here, you're dead. Or you can just be dead like that. <laughs> uh, you can see why this level is going to be annoying. Now, this is why I suggest if you know where it is, try and pick the side that leads directly to the ramp. So I believe it's going to be this side right here. So this is where you usually want to go first. Because it's going to make you watch that cutscene and drag you into waiting. Luckily, since, you know, it's our second time through, we can skip it with the A button. But, now we just get to ride up here. This is what I mean by this is going to be an annoying freaking level. Because the only safe part is this middle platform. If you're even a little short of being there on time, you're dead. Game over. Start over. And at the same time, you've got two rank spawners right there. So as you're doing this, it's going to spawn enemies for you to kill. But, it's in your best interest. I mean, usually I'm all for killing things in this game. But, if you want to actually be able to pull this off, ignore the ranks. Every single time, ignore the ranks. I'm putting huge emphasis on this because it's the most important thing to know. Just ignore them. They're not going to help you at all. The one kill you get in the ranks bank is not worth the possibility of screwing this level up just for that. But luckily, we seem to be doing pretty uh, decently well the second run through. So we've almost killed all of the um, things. So that's going to be the awesome thing is that we'll be done with the first part of this. Unfortunately, I jumped to the wrong side, so I may have screwed myself. No, I should be fine. And luckily, the ranks will follow me. So that means that they will be distracted. So you're probably thinking, hey, we're done now, right? We destroyed all the four yellow things. Well, <laughs> a little spoiler, you're not done yet. Not even close. Now you gotta do it again! All four of them. Again. And this is what I mean by this level is tedious as all hell. And then you get stabbed by that guy and he kills you immediately. What the actual fuck? <sighs> and no, I am not going to speed this up for you guys. You guys are going to sit here and suffer with me. <laughs> uh, it's really not that bad. I mean, it's only just the same bullshit over and over again. Honestly, if I don't succeed this time, I will speed up until a point where I actually succeed. I'm not going to drag you guys through <laughs> this thing where it's probably going to take me... I don't know. If we want to take a good guess at how long this will take me, let's say six attempts. Minute. Let's say just about six attempts. Because that's just how freaking mine. It's just so freaking annoying how long this level takes, even though it shouldn't. And another thing uh, to note: this is just a little um, like if you look at the pattern, it's kind of weird because 
Like, you knock out one, you expect it to knock it out, like, you know, go in a circle and knock them out, like, all in a row, right? But for some reason, when you knock out the, like, the four yellow lights, if you look, it'll knock out one, and then it'll knock out the other one in the opposite corner, so that way it's on a diagonal. I never really understood that, but... I don't know. Like, you can watch right here. One, two, three. See, it knocks them all out in the diagonal. I don't understand that. But, anyway, that's, um... Three of the first set. Now, if you can notice, like, before you're like, okay, there's only one set, right? But then if you take a look at it now, like, you can see that the last, when you hit the last one, it, like, rotates on, like, without being on an axis. Instead of just spinning in a circle, it spins in all directions. And I believe the last one is right here. No, it's not right there. It's right over here. The problem is, I really wish this was a thing. I really, like, you can watch, like, now that it rotated, now that set of four is down there. What I really wish they would have done with this is allowed the ranks to die from this gene goo. Only because, literally, they're only there to be an annoyance. Or, in my case, they'll knock, you they'll knock your ass straight off the thing as you start up a new set and kill you instantly. And that's always fun. By fun, I mean fuck. Luckily, this guy, uh, the AI is not perfect in this game, so they don't know how to run across platforms perfectly. But luckily, we chose the first one in this set, so we should be able to make it up here just fine. And as far as I believe, um, the pa the speed of the Jingu does not, it does not go any faster. It will increase the same amount every time. Now we want to go to this one. Because unfortunately... No, you get out of the way. And I'm probably going to die this time because I took too long trying to knock that ranks out of the way. And the Jingu is already rising. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. I don't want this. I don't want this. No. Please, no. Please, no. Just stay down there. Stay down there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game, for not being a jerk. Oh, God. You just don't understand how freaking mind-numbingly annoying this shit gets. Oh, fuck. I already knocked this one out. So then... Oh, shit. I actually didn't knock out the closest one yet. Which is shocking. I thought I would have knocked that one out first. Holy crap. And now all the... <laughs> you see, this is my kind of luck. Now that we've knocked out everything except for the first one, all the enemies are standing directly on the first one. So now, we have to try and get past all of them while taking out the freaking yellow thing. And not get knocked off once. Holy crap, this is going to be annoying. You know what? Since we're not going to be able to speed through this, the easiest, th the best thing to do in this case is just try and kill these guys. Now, at least we took out, you know, the majority of them. We have, like, two red ones who are kind of weak and a, um, a silver one that's not, you know, that's kind of fully healed. Real quick, Ninja Revive. Because why not? I'd rather have full health going back down there. So now, you know how before I was like, ignore the ranks? Luckily, there will be no more ranks that get spawned down here. So what's left is what we have to deal with. And luckily, those guys were one hit away. So now, we're done. The cryo ball has been destroyed. The ranks are no longer being spawned. And here's our grade. Now all we have to do is get back up there isn't too hard it's just a casual little uh same thing we've been doing this entire freaking time so that's always nice so let's just go up here let's grab the grade and we're done now here's the dilemma i've only been recording for nine minutes and we only have five more grades until we fight odor so our choices are we go back and do an older level real quick or I save it for the next episode real quick hey ninja if you are looking for some action there's none here go back to the other areas and look for more grades yeah since they said it right there we're gonna have to go back to the other areas now excuse me real quick I'm gonna cut this part out but I will be right back
think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um I think I'm gonna do the rocket second rocket factory, second crate in a cage, second slide ninja, second buzz off. And I just realized I haven't done clouding around in this. Oh shit. Cut back in three, two, one. Okay, I'm back, and actually, uh, there has been an error. I forgot that I had to go back to an old file to get, uh, my clouding around footage, and it's not on this file, so technically we only have four more levels to do. So, off screen, I'm going to go and get that grade, I'll probably show it at the beginning. You know what, you've seen me collect that grade, I'll just get it and then just, like, next episode I will show you that I, uh, recollected it on this file. And then we will probably go back to Robot Beach and do the second missions there, and then do two missions in the jungle, and then we'll have enough. But, we're going to have to save all that, wait, you, but we're going to have to save you for the next episode. So, in the meantime, thank you all so very much for watching this. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you really like it, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, guys and girls, this has been Gaming Jack. 24-7 here reminding you to just have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one bye